everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway. And on the hill in this one, Casey Mize. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. And now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. The wind of the pitch. And a good eye there. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. That's a little bit high. It's just the third pitch of the night, and already a little question on the strike zone of the umpire in this one. And there's the automatic. Three two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Left hand batter waits. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Now Correa up to hit. Popped up. Baez under it. And he makes the catch. Two away. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Edouard Julien. Well, Boog, you know I love guys that can run, and this guy has great speed. We'll see in this game if he gets a chance to use it. And if he does, I think even you are going to be really impressed because he can really impact the game with his wheels, and you like guys that can score. He's definitely able to do that. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Inside ball. And it's fouled away. Two out spaces empty. Another one, two. Got him. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins. The Tigers coming up. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Detroit. And on the hill, Louis Varland. What should we keep an eye on here? 
Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Now, Matt Veerling. Veerling. And a pitch. Varlin, 6-1 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. And here it comes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Buxton makes the grab, one down. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. One out, base is empty. Next well, pitch is outside. Great. Here's a rocket out to left. Martin pulls it down, and a couple of quick outs. That is good. No left field. Here's Riley Green. Green. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Close one doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. Slider misses outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The other way. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now the batter now, Spencer Torkelson. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And the inning is over. Tigers leave one, scoreless after one. And we're back, stepping in the long ball threat, Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Mize, back to work. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Swing and a miss. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That one, one not close. One and two to count. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. He goes down looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Jose Miranda, batting with one down, takes a strike. That 
it's in there. And that's strike two. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So two down now, and here is Matt Walner. Nope. Just oh. missed. And a pitch. Ball. Good Doing spot up. there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two outs. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. This is Willie Castro. Slider misses outside. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Right-hander kicks deals. Come back into the mound. In plenty of time to first, and that is that. Twins wind up stranding one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Gio Urshela to the plate. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. This one in the air right field. Julian makes a nice running catch. Now that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the bet. Well struck right field. And forget it. His first homer of the year. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So one out, nobody on. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. That to right, and it stays fair. Batting it, the shortstop, Javier. One gone Baez. runner at first, and the batter will be the shortstop, Javier Baez. If they did a poll of top tattoos in Major League Baseball, Javier Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo. So it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his cap. 
Yeah, the there's ball. a ball. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Run around the goal. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. The one two. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. The that shortstop takes the ball. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. That was a really nice pitch call for that put away slider right there. You look at the sequence in that at bat, and he hadn't thrown it yet, so this makes it really tough to recognize and fight off with two strikes. I'm sure it looked like a fastball all the way until it wasn't. Here's the catcher to hit, Jake Rogers. Way upstairs, and that's ball one. pitch and he grounds one back up the middle Dives and he can't hang on back to the top of the lineup and next up for the Tigers Matt Veerling that's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Kelly over at second. Rogers at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is down low, and the count is 1 and 1. Two on, two outs. Foul ball there. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And he deals. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back at Comerica Park, Ryan Jeffers at the plate. The catcher, Ryan Jeffers. The wide to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as he's coming in to let him know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Austin Martin stands in now and watches strike one. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Got him 
swing for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Julian takes low second trip to the plate in this one. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw him. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he makes it there with a two-out triple. Tying runs aboard. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. Third, two gone. And here comes Carlos Correa. He popped out his first time. Just oh missed. Next pitch misses. And now 2 and 0. The tying run is 90 feet away. on but foul wide of third. Here comes a pitch. That misses. Three and one now. Alex Kirilov next to bat for Minnesota. Two outs. Fouls one away and now three and two. And the right hater deals. So now two on and two outs. Here's Alex Kirilov. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Fought off foul. Two on, two outs. Nope, at the ball. And fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Corners are occupied with two down. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. Twin strand a pair. They still trail one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Mark Canna. The pitch. There's a strike. Pitch misses there. And the count even one and one. And another ball. Hard hit left side. Sends it across the first. 
Leadoff man retired here in the third. The left fielder, number 31, Riley Green. Now the left fielder, Riley Green, doubled his first time up. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Right yeah. through there for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. And a 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at-bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one carrying. That's not coming down. He shoots one out to right, and they add a run. It's 2-0. That one just sounded different. Yeah, it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Fastball in for a strike. Going one. And the righty deals. Way out front for strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't Ball chase one. that time. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the last half of the third. Not <laughs> close yep. with that one. Two balls, two strikes. The punch out there, out number two. The third baseman, number 13. Here's Gio Urshela. Gio. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Urshela. That's a strike, 0-1. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. The pitch. And it goes oh, just oh. foul. They One tried ball. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. One, two now. Back up the middle and a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Urshela leads off first with two down to the inning. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. Ripped to short. Whips it to first. Inning over. Tigers add one to the lead on this homer. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show.
back here in Detroit. Here's Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, these twins just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Righty to the plate. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Slider misses outside. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Right side. Fires over to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Jose Miranda now at the plate. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Left field. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front up shoulder up coming zone. open instead of staying what closed. Is. If he does yeah. that, he's going to be able to go yeah. up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Walter oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. The Tigers up by two. Top half of inning number four. Next oh, pitch outside. misses outside. And it's 2-0. And a swing and a miss. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounce to third, and that chance handled. Third out, and that ends the frame. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it here 2 nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the DH, Carson Kelly. Carson Kelly. The wind of the pitch. That's a laser base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. The batter now, Javier Baez. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. At the belt and fires. Nope. That's inside. That's inside. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Here's a 1-1. Foul ball. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two cow. And a pitch. On the ground left side, six. Four. He's out. Three, but it's not in time, and they just get one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Rogers. And strike one to the catcher. All one's the count.
Baez leads off first with one away. Right through there for a strike. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. The 0-2. Chips a swing. Now it appealed to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. The one two. Good That's eye broken. right there. It's a good take. Not even count. close there. Full count now. Man at first one away. Line drive, and that's oh, just foul. foul. And a pitch. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Now at the plate, Matt Veerling. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Sit down on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. One left for Detroit, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back at Comerica Park. Top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Willie Castro. Mize back to work. On a line, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Singy, that's a start. Oh, yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Ryan Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that one fouled off. In the air to left center. Canna sizes this one up. Brings it in. Here's the left fielder, Austin Martin. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Mines checks the runner. Castro dives back in safely. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Strike in there. Throw to third, and he's out. Well, I can see he had a big lead out there at second base, so it wasn't a shock when he took off. But trying to steal third right there, it's kind of risky, man. You're already in scoring position, so you've got to make sure that you can make it there safely. That wasn't the case. One strike away. That one, one not close. Now one and two. Looking sharp just a strike away from five shutout innings. 
The Tigers trying to close out a two run lead. And we're at the top of the fifth. In the air, left field down the line. And just foul. The one two. That's down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Lifted to left, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The Tigers get a shutout on the mound. Mize gets his first big league win, and what a performance he put together to do it. Singing a complete game. Feels like one of those outings you can only dream about. I doubt he went out there today thinking that he's going to go the distance, but he had it all working, and they let him finish the job. I love that. That was something special. Very cool to see. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.